Shout out to Brooklyn. What's good, Ray? I, I'm good, man. I, I, I'm having a good time tonight, man. I, I, I had a good time. What what you got for us? Now, I just wanted to comment on the Philly Dom uh, thing. Oh, uh, oh, you seen that? You seen the video? You seen the video? Yeah. <laughs> I saw it. You know, look. <laughs> I don't know what set him off because maybe there was something that happened prior to that that made him turn up. I don't, he doesn't seem like a guy that would just turn up for nothing. But um, <laughs> I don't, I also don't understand why would you want to record and put people on video in that sort of area? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Right, right. So I understand it from both sides. But also, like, um, I don't know why, and this is just me, you know what I'm saying? I don't understand why a Haitian that doesn't have the actual need to go to Dominican Republic would even go. You know what I'm saying? Based on, and Philly Dom knows what, he knows the history, right? He knows all of that, but I don't even know why they would yeah, go. Yeah, you know. I wouldn't even go there. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Well, yeah, I mean, he has it. Uh, yeah, he, he knows some people. He knows Flip Flop. Well, you know Flip Flop, yes. I mean, you, you never met him, but. He has some ties and, and for algorithm purposes. That means, let's be honest. People go YouTube is go to Sasua for algorithm. I, I was gonna go to Sasua, and you know I've been there a long time, but I don't really, you know, I, I was gonna go there just for algorithm purposes to try to hit the algorithm. But uh, uh, the YouTube, so I think it's I think it's more so YouTubers are going in, and so they go there with the cameras. And like, look, I gotta get some footage. I gotta get the footage. I can't go here and not get no footage, but. You're going into the lion's den, Nagnezi. You are going into... It's like, all right, if I go to Sasua and not get no footage as a, as a YouTuber, you feel like a failure. Let's be honest. Because I think if me too, I think I would I would feel like a failure if I were to go down to Sasua as a YouTuber these days and not get no chicas on the on the camera. Now, there's a method you could do. You could do the uh, you Barber World TV route and just get an interview with the, with the females on the beach or whatever. You could go that route. Instead of doing a walking videos uh, on Pedro Glasante, because that's more hazardous to your to your physical well being, you know what I'm saying? But uh, go ahead, Nami. Nah, I mean I agree with you. Like that, it's probably hazardous to your physical well being, right? So then why yeah. do it? I mean, sometimes you can do things, but just because you can do it doesn't mean that you should do it. Mm. And, and and everybody, if you've seen one to sue a video, you've seen them all. Some bad built chicks. Yo, they do. They fixing my roof, so pardon the um. Yeah, the, the I, I had construction. Yeah, that's all right. These dudes sound like me in my goddamn living room. But yeah. nah, <laughs> if you seen one to two a video, you've seen them all. You know what I'm saying? So like, I would say like, maybe maybe content creators should be travelers first and content creators second. You know, mm. like how, how how annoying would it be to feel that you got to pull your camera out every time somebody with a fatty walks by? That shit is crazy. Like, well, like dudes never seen fatties before. Let me let me see. Let me say next this. Now, the the reason they're getting the fatties is because of the viewers. Now, let me ask you: as you was, you know, you yeah, you you content creator, but is the pressure to get like, all right, I'm going to Sasua. He's going to Sasua. He better show me some girls. Do you believe the pressure is getting to some of these content creators to to put them in these these horrible situations? You know, from the viewers, Absolutely. The viewers, that Absolutely, race, and mm -hmm. that's and that's when I think it's getting away from being a traveler mm -hmm. to enjoy traveling, and then people feel obligated to take video. Right. Like I, I have all the places that I went in the world, I go there and I enjoy what's going on right now. Like I don't go to concerts and and mm -hmm. I won't be up there with a with a camera with a with a white light trying to record the concert i'm actually enjoying the concert so i do believe that there's some pressure that they put on themselves or maybe it's financial pressure to put up content because right. they want to make the money that's right. why that's why i don't um upload a lot because i'm not going to be a, a a slave to the super chat or a slave to the algorithm nah so now i upload when i want sometimes i don't sometimes i do and i and i do what i want to do you know what i'm saying Right, right, right. It, 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 hey, it, and I'm glad. I'm glad we talk about this because I'm serious. I'll be serious when I ask the YouTubers that come up here, like Floyd and uh, now Free Dom, the pressures of getting that type of content because the viewer, it's like the Roman Coliseum. The Roman Coliseum want to see blood, right? You know, thumbs up, thumbs down. I think 
this YouTube thing, and like you say, it's a financial thing too, especially for the successful YouTubers. If they're gonna pay money to make that trip, I think that the pressure from the I know, not forget, I don't think I know the pressure from the crowd, from the viewers, is getting to them, and it puts them into compromising situations where they know they shouldn't really be, but they say, you know what? It's for the money. Uh, they my, my subscribers. They're gonna be disappointed if I don't show this and show that. I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna I'm gonna film these women when I probably I shouldn't be doing it because it's 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 not gonna end well. It's not gonna end well, and they do it anyway. So you said that me that you your your channel. You said you're not gonna be a slave to the content. You're not gonna be this be a slave to the subs. You're not gonna be a slave inside that Roman Coliseum arena, right? So. Uh, and I think, well, mentally, Nick Measy, and this is a good person to ask, if you haven't really been uploading, do you feel mentally relieved out of, because social media could be a, a mother effer. Do you, just social media, not Yo. just YouTube, do you feel relieved that you're not doing the content anymore? Do you feel relieved that you're out of that? Yo, Raze, that is a great question and a great co uh, comment. I feel 100% relieved. Now I can just jump on other people's streams I don't have to prepare streams. I, I did a moder. I was a moderator on another stream for a debate, and it was a lot of work. I had to right. write down my questions, keep time, and make sure people wasn't. When when I'm just a panelist, I can do what I want with respect to the content creator. But there mm -hmm. was a point when I was doing live streams, right? And one of my biggest supporters, he left a super chat. He said, um. He asked me a question. He said, and if you don't get this right, I'm not super chatting no more. I said, mm -hmm. how about the F you and your super chat, bitch, nigga, and you're blocked. <laughs> At that point, I said, you know what? I don't need people trying to control my narrative because they throw a couple of bucks at me. Like, like that, that, that's where the bucks at me. Like, like that, that, that's where it becomes, uh, you know, fanboyish. And then people try to take over your content because they don't have the talent to create their own they can't cook like you were talking about some people have the info but they can't spit it right so if right. you can't spit it you won't put people to sleep like chase holiday and we don't want that <laughs> and, sh and shout out to chase holiday with the little baby <laughs> arm <laughs> uh james shout out to james chase holiday yeah yeah <laughs> Yeah, you're gay. Yeah, keep going. No, no, all right, all right. So, no, all right. This is another segment. I'm, I'm gonna cut this up too. So let me let me make this is to set. This is Nat Measy, guys. Nat Measy, who was uh, a very successful. I seen a couple of your your live stream. You was getting a lot of super chats, and so Nat Measy basically said, "Look, I don't want to be a slave to the system of YouTube or to the viewers of YouTube because they super chatting him and pretty much trying to tell him how to run his life. Basically, not just your channel." But they want to see this, they want to see that, and they want to see you here and see you there. So he said, you know what? Freak this. Freak all the, the, the super chat. I'm not going to, I don't want to live that way. You know what I'm saying? So this is, this could go into the annuals of YouTube, actually, actually of YouTubers. Because I, I, I think other YouTubers go through this. And that media said, bunk it. I'm, I, I'm, I'm not going to deal with it. I'm not going to deal with it. People donating. But I would not be controlled and be a slave to the super chat right get that bro i used to fall asleep on live on live streams i used to do 10 hour live streams and i remember when i was when i became addicted to the super chat it was my second live stream right i got a 25 hour super chat i'm like oh shit i could get paid just for talking shit <laughs> so then i went i went live again immediately after and then it became almost like an addiction. But then I'm like, I don't need this money. So what am I doing spending? And, and I, there's a time difference with me, right? So my audience was in America. Right. So I would have to, for me to do a seven o'clock show, I'd have to wait until 1.30 in the morning before I start cooking. And then I have to prep my show. I got to uh, get in contact with, with guests behind the scenes. I got to prep information, all of this. I got to worry about trolls. I, I said, man, I ain't doing that. But I say in the travel space, bro, like if you go on the travel, then actually travel. Right. You don't have to go on a live stream every damn day when you're in a new country because then your content becomes redundant and boring. 
There's a there's one content creator. He gets on live every day, sounding boring and dry as hell. Not even interacting with the audience. He's not even looking at the camera. He's looking at whatever you know, a bumble profiles or whatever he's doing, and just like uh huh, uh huh, right, not in right. his head. Like that's not content, bro. But because right. some people live vicariously through travelers, they just want to see you know what's out the window. They want to see the shorties. I say, work on yourself, get your money up so that you can be that traveler and go out and experience it. Everybody can't be the next Razor Rays. Everybody can't be the next Knock Measy. But it's cool just to experience the world. If I want to, like, Dominican content that I want to see to keep it on it yeah. is, yeah. like, like the cities, like the real life. You know what I'm saying? Like, how is it bargaining, you know, for, for goods and stuff like that? But... In this space, you have a lot of dudes that are only focused on those a bug's life booties, you know, and these chicks dressed like wrestlers on Pedro Clisante. <laughs> and, and look, like, yo, like, really? <laughs> dudes act like they never saw some buns before. Come on, if you're from New York City, a, a, a Dominican fatty is something that's normal, son. Let, you go downtown right, Brooklyn, you're going to see that. You, you go to Harlem, you're going to see that. You go to Queens, you're going to see that. But these dudes, you know, it's like, oh, oh, butts. Look, big butts. And, and then they put pressure on the content created to show more big butts. Yeah, it, now, let, let, let me focus on that. The Style King, thank you for the $5. What's up, Razor? Don't let anyone stop you. Well, don't let anyone stop you, Style King. I seen you live earlier, a little bit of it. Salute to you. Uh, I put your link in the chat. Don't become a slave to the super chat when you get monetized, Style King, as uh, Nat Meezy says, though. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Don't be a slave like Razor Rays to the Super Chat. But Stout King, salute, salute to you, Stout King, in your channel. Salute to you. I won't stop. Uh, but that easy. Man, you just touched on it, Nat This is very important. Very important, that easy. You know, you know, you know me. I do my vlogs. And, you know, I, I get the whatever views I get. You know, I, 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 I stop really showing the females. I just do normal stuff, right? And some people go to DR and go to Cabaret. A. That's near Sasua, right? Uh, they go to Porta Plata. Some some YouTubers don't show the females, but they they views is horrible, right? In comparison to the guys that show the females, the big booties and stuff. So it's pressure from the viewers and not just the viewers. Let's be honest, YouTube itself, YouTube itself is 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 giving these the female videos the impressions. Y'all gotta know if y'all don't know impressions. Impressions mean is putting the video in front of. Thousands of people impressions means like if you get 500,000 impressions. That means your video is going to do well A lot of these quote-unquote informational videos if people go to DR they just showing like uh, a Museum or uh, ancient uh, uh, Statues in the areas. They probably only get like a thousand impressions Meaning that YouTube only show it put it in front of a thousand people in, in YouTube while the big booty uh, videos get like a hundred thousand impressions so YouTubers are gonna be like, all right, I'm out there, I'm spending my money for these trips. I want, I want to ha get my money back. So I gotta put the girls out there now. Now, and as for the view, I, I think it's more YouTube to be honest with you than even the viewers. I think we are mistaken. I think it's not just about the viewers. I think it's about YouTube. YouTube is giving these booty videos impressions, a hell of a lot of impressions. I really do, net easy. I think. Like if, if you go into your, your catalog of stuff, uh, my catalog of stuff, and I see some of my videos I put out there, it's very low impressions because it's, it's not the girls. I don't have the girls up there. You know what I'm saying? Right. But what, what do you think about that? So, Raze, how about this? Let, let's talk about money real quick. I'm not going to pocket watch you, right? Right, right. But right. I have a video that almost, it's probably almost a, like uh, half a million views. It's me beating the shit out of somebody on YouTube. Half um, a million? Okay. Yeah, it's about four hundred and fifty thousand views right now. I have it on private, but um, that oh, shit doesn't really generate any real money. Mm -hmm. The money that I was making off of YouTube came from super chats, and the right. reason why I got the super chats was similar to how you get them. You know what I'm saying? You have like a drama show, so people right. would tune in to see who's gonna cook knock, um, and and no one ever really cooked me. But people would try, so we'd go back and forth, and it'd be and it'd be exciting. But I wasn't showing no right. booty. I think that people are more um, 
attracted to controversy. I think the booty yes. is going to get people attracted, but the booty don't pay the bills. Controversy right. sells in these YouTube streets, which is why most content creators, once you get to a certain level, you you then get automatic ops, right? And then people yes. want to get yes. big off of your name, no diddy. And Copy. that's where it's at. So if you have no personality, if you have no ops, if you can't cook live, then people ain't super chatting you. People really super chat so that they can get at other people and get their point across. That's more money than actual clicks from AdSense from Bugs Life Booty Bitch videos. Right, right. For the for the yeah, for the most part, like you have some outliers. You have some have some outliers, but uh, yeah, um, you know, it's a catch twenty two. And the thing is, I think a lot of guys that get the camera in their hand, they say, look, the easy, the fastest route is to just film, you know, film the girls. And I, they don't have to say nothing, and which is not, I mean, it's not wrong with that, because we all been, been through that. All right, film the girls, let's get some subs, sub, let's get monetized. And I think they become a slave to that, because YouTube actually pushes that sometimes. But like you said, the money is probably not all the way there, because they get yellow dollar signs a lot of times, and, you know, Engagement is not really there. Just, you know, it just, it just, it just, like I said, there's outliers. There's no real one way to skin a cat on YouTube. But as far as your channel, Nat Measy, you was never, you, you know, you was a fight channel, like you said. Why you put that video? Why you put that 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 video to private if you want to just? That, because that, the guy um reached out to me, you know, and he has a school, so yeah. you know, just off the strength, I'm like, you know, it's not worth. I'm not doing it for money. You know what I'm saying? So I I private. First, I changed the title so it wouldn't go directly back to his school, but then it got shared on a couple of forums, and then it started affecting his business. You know, got so you. I privated the video. I understand. You know I understand. what I'm saying? Because right, it's not you. it's not that serious with me. 